G'day, welcome to the Simple Cooking Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make Twix fudge. Oh, let's go. Simple cooking, simple cooking, simple cooking channel. Get 250 grams of cookies or biscuits. I'm using Scotch Finger. You use shortbread, whatever, it doesn't really matter that much. Get this to the fine crumb stage. Now, if you don't have a food processor, which is what I'm using, just get a Ziploc bag, throw these in there and bash them with a rolling pin. Now get half a cup of melted butter, about 100 grams, and combine it. Get a cake tin, well, you can get anything if you want. And just put that in there and then flatten it out and pat it down. Now, pop this in the oven at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit for six to eight minutes. Now just leave this to cool you can always pop this in the fridge just to speed that process up and we'll get on to the next part. Now get a large mixing bowl, one that's microwave safe. Pop in about 375 grams of milk chocolate. Then chuck in about 30 grams of butter. Now we just want to melt this so you can pop it in the microwave, 30 seconds, give it a stir, etc. until it's melted. Now just give it a stir. Now get some milk frosting like this. Pop it in the microwave for 30 seconds to soften it. Now pour that into there and combine. Now just pour this straight over the top. Oh ho 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 Now Get about 200 to 250 grams of Twix and put that over the top. <laughs> and just press it down. Now just let this set completely. Just put it in the fridge. Um, give it an hour or two in the fridge and it'll be set. Then cut it into pieces and holy moly. Well, I hope you like these. So good. Oh, where to start? This one. I've made a lot of fudge in my life. This could quite possibly be the best fudge I've ever made. Highly recommend this one. I'll see you next time for my next meal.